Hello all. Welcome to part 109 of SQL for Beginners tutorial series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate about save point. So let's get started. Using save point in SQL, we can save the different states of the table. And thereafter, we can roll back to the desired state of the table when needed. Now let me practically demonstrate this save point for you. For that, I'll open this workbench client and uh, here first I will select a database and then I'll create a table under the database. Okay. First I will select the database. Say use database name and you see the database got selected. Now under this database well, how many tables are there I want to find out for that I will say show tables. Now run this. You see there are zero tables. Next thing is before I start creating a table guys I want to set auto commit to zero okay set auto commit option to zero why i am setting this auto commit to zero so that whatever the things or changes i do to for this table that changes should not be permanently saved okay if i set auto commit to one means all the changes to the table are permanently saved okay if the changes are permanently saved i cannot show you the save point okay i cannot demonstrate the save point if the changes are permanently saved that's why I'm setting the auto commit to zero so that the changes that are going to be done to this table, okay, whatever the table I'm going to create, right? Those changes are temporary changes, not permanent changes, okay, after setting auto commit to zero. Now, at this state, what I will do is I'll create a table, guys. Create table EMP1 table name having ID, one of the column ID as int and a name as varchar of 15, like this. I'll create a table, run this. The table got created guys okay refresh here you see you got a table here right you can also say show table so that uh, you'll get table under the tables okay fine all good now what i want to do here is i want to run one statement sql statement so before i start uh, using the save point statement in sql i have to run this statement in sql that is start transaction okay before I save different states of the table. I want to run this statement in SQL known as start transaction. Okay, this statement we have to run first. Run this start transaction. You see, it is successful. Start transaction is successful. At this point, okay, I will say select star from after starting the transaction, guys. Okay, we need to start the transaction in order to save uh, save the save points and all those stuff. In order to use the save points and all to save the different states of the table. Now in this state. If I say select star from EMP1, in this particular table, the table has just now got created and there are no records under the table. If I run this, you see there are zero records under the table. That's one thing. There are zero records under the table, guys. Now, when there are zero records under the table, I want to save. Okay, I want to save the state of the table when no records are there using the save point. How to save that? For that, guys, I have to simply say save point. And give some name, guys. Okay, any name you can give. I'll give the name as zero. You can give any name here. Okay. In place of zero, you can give anything. Z or A or B also you can give. Okay. I'm saving this state as with the name zero. Okay. Because there are no records in that table, right? That's why I'm saving with zero. Okay. Logically. Fine. Now I'll insert some data into the table, guys. Okay. Insert into. I'll insert some records into the table. One record. Insert into EMP1. That is the table name. Okay. Values. Values as one comma. I'll give my name, guys. Okay, Arun Motori. I'll say, okay, this first record I'm adding. Run this. You see, the record got added. If I now say select star from EMP1, there will be one record here. I want to save this state also, okay? This different state of the table also, I want to save the save point. Since one record is there, I logically save it as one with name one, okay? Save point one. That's it, okay? This is the name of the save point. So I am saving the state of this particular table when one record is there in the table with the name one. Okay. Now I want to insert one more record into the table. Okay. The same thing. I'll copy paste just to save time. And here I'll give two comma. Okay. I'll give something like uh, Varun Dawat. Like this, I'll give one more name. Okay. One more record. Now insert this record uh, and say select star from EMP1. Now you will have two records under the table and I want to save this uh, state of this table when there are two records. So save point, 
I'll say two simply and run this, okay? So this current state of the table has been saved with the name two. Now guys, now, okay? There are two records in the table. Now what I want to do is, if I want to go to the previous state of the table, okay? At this moment, if I say select star from EMP one, you see there are two records, but I want to go to the previous state of the table that is uh, one, one state where only one record used to be there, right? How to go there using the rollback is, okay? Rollback, we have to use a statement known as, in SQL, we have to use a statement known as rollback followed by two, followed by the name of the save point, okay? So rollback to which save point? I'm at this uh, two state, uh, two position, but now I want to roll back to one guys, okay? I want to roll back to one. So what I will do here is I'll say one, roll back to one, okay? Roll back to one and run this statement. Now, if I say select star from EMP one, how many records will be there? Only one record should be there because we have rolled back to the previous state of the table when there were only one record available. Now, similarly, I can roll back to a state of the table when there were no records in the table. That is zero at the state, okay? So name of the save point I gave it as zero, right? Roll back to zero if I run this. After running this, if I say select star from EMP one, you see there are no records in the table. So going back is okay, but coming back, coming forward is not possible guys, okay? I cannot say roll back to, okay? Now, if I say roll back to two, okay? Roll back to two, it is not possible guys, okay? Going back is okay. Rolling back is okay, but uh, coming forward is not possible, okay? Roll back to two is not possible. This will give you error, okay? Run this, you see, you'll get an error. Save point two doesn't exist. Once you roll back to the previous states, you cannot come back, okay? You cannot come forward again. So only going back or rolling back is possible, but coming forward is not possible. So hope guys, you understood how to use save point in SQL. Right, this is what is the purpose of the save point is we can save the different states of the table and roll back to that particular desired state of the table when needed. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.